Next, I'm gonna be talking about the inbox over here. This is how we can get messages out to our parents. From here, uh, you can do student announcements. So if you have a reminder you want to send them or if you just do like a morning announcement saying, check out the activities that I have in the journal articles or something like that, you can do that here. You can also do family announcements. Parents can join, uh, attach themselves to their students on here, and then they can view uh, the different activities in the journal, and then you can send them messages. There is a translate feature on here as well, which is really nice, which means that uh, when parents get messages from you, if the language is different from the language they have set on their device, so if it's their entire phone set as Spanish, they'll get a little a uh, message on the side that says translate um, text and it will translate it into the language that they have. They have up to 55 different languages um, on there. So that'll be really nice for our families if you have Spanish speaking only family members. You can also just do individual comments to uh, specific parents. So you'll have the parent's name at the top along with what student they're attached to. Under the notifications, you'll get a little message anytime you get new messages from them and anytime those parents attach themselves to their students. So that information is found right here. So I'm going to first send a student announcement. Click on that. I want to send it to all students. You can do just the family members or you can do it to all students and family members. It's up to you. Say, today we're talking So I can add an attachment if I want, I don't need to, and then I can send that. And so students will get a little message that looks like this. They can then, I can add another comment or the students that get that message can then comment on there. For family messages, I can do private messages between them um, and then it will eventually load here and I can do just parent messages. I can do whole group messages, so if I want every parent uh, to know what we're doing that day. Or for example, I have an activity that I want them to do. It's a family activity that ties into the digital citizenship lesson that, they're do that the students are doing. Um, I can attach that here. So I'll click on send family announcement. And I want it to all students and family members. So I want the students to know that I messaged their families as well. Hello, we are covering So oh, I have that. I'm going to upload a couple things from my computer. So I can attach that. There it is. And then I can go ahead and send that. Oh, let me that there. 
So now parents will get this, they can open it up, they can view it. I have just the English version. I also have a Spanish version, so I can always add a second announcement to this um, with the Spanish version as well. Um, or I can link the YouTube videos to that as well. I have them both in English and Spanish. Um, but just another way to sort of get our, our parents involved and aware of what we're doing, especially as we are working with younger students using this program. In addition to the parents having the ability to translate, there is also a translate feature for you as the teacher. So you can see I got my first message back from my uh, fake parent here. It's down below and you can see that it is in full Spanish and then right below there it says see translation. So it's going to translate it in the language that it's set for my computer. So um, I have this right here. It's asking me um, if this is a requirement. I can then respond and then when it goes back to the parent they can click on that translation feature here and have it translated from English into Spanish. This is just a great way to make sure that we're still communicating with parents even if we do not speak the language they do.